This video will cover how to set up a PowerPoint file in an accessible format. This information will help ensure your files comply with accessibility standards. I'll review the following best practices. Themes and templates, slide reading order, alternative text, data tables, descriptive hyperlinks, and accessibility checker. The first thing to consider when creating a PowerPoint presentation is to use high contrast between text color and slide background, and to use simple backgrounds behind the text. You can use built-in templates by going to the Design tab, but not all of these have high contrast. Additionally, some will have images in the background, which makes the text difficult to read. You can search for accessible templates by selecting File, New, then type Accessible Templates in the search field. While this doesn't guarantee accessibility, it does increase the likelihood of finding a suitable template. Beyond high contrast or readability, it's recommended that a minimum of 18-point font be used for presentations. Another consideration is to make sure color isn't the only way you convey meaning. In this example, if you can see colors, you can match the color to the respective quarters. However, if you can't distinguish colors, this chart isn't going to be very helpful to you. You'll need to include more information to the chart, such as adding the category name to the respective sections. One way to do this is to add callouts. Right-click the chart, hover over the arrow next to Add Data Labels, Add Data Callouts. If you want to format the labels, right-click the chart, and then click Format Data Labels. You can include additional information in the callouts or reposition them on the chart. Another important aspect of accessibility is the use of slide layouts. Every slide should have a title. The use of titles in your slide creates an outline for screen readers, like a table of contents. If you would prefer the title to be invisible on the slide presentation without removing it from the reading order, you can simply highlight the text and make the title font the same color as the background. By default, screen readers read the slide title first, followed by elements such as bulleted list, images, tables, etc. When using elements that aren't part of a slide template, the screen reader will read the elements in the same order in which they were added to the slide, so it's important to make sure objects are listed in the correct order. Using this example, we want the order to be title, heading, bulleted list, then chart. To check the order, select Home, Arrange, Selection Pane. The reading order is in reverse, bottom to top, so when I click on Title, it should be at the bottom, which it is. Next, I'll click on Heading, and we see that it's out of order. To reorder, you can use the up and down arrows, or click and drag this to the correct position. Alternative text, or alt text, is read by screen readers, ensuring blind and low vision users will understand the content displayed by the image, chart, smart art, or tables. To create alt text for charts or images, right-click the object, Edit Alt Text. In the Edit Alt Text panel for images, you'll see the option Generate a Description for Me. The quality of these are typically generic, providing a basic description of an image, which is not the same as alternative text. Alt text should also provide context and descriptive information. To start your description, you don't need a right image of, since the screen reader will announce that it's an image. In the Alt Text pane, write your descriptive information. If you're describing charts or tables, make sure to provide relevant data for the screen reader user. Accessible tables need a clear table structure and table headers to help guide screen reader users. Although most screen readers won't identify table headers in PowerPoint, it's a best practice to create headers when saving your PowerPoint to PDF. These headers will be identified in the most up-to-date versions of PowerPoint. First, create a table by going to the Insert tab, Table, then drag your mouse over the cells you want to create. If headers aren't automatically created, go to the Table Design tab and make sure Header Row and Banded Rows are selected. When a URL is placed on a slide in PowerPoint, a hyperlink is automatically created. To be accessible, hyperlinks should convey clear and accurate information about its destination. So instead of using the full URL, you should create a descriptive display text for the destination page. To edit the display name, right-click the link, then click Edit Link. In the Text to Display box, enter a descriptive title for the destination page. Then. Click OK. 
Microsoft has included an accessibility checker that will find and help you fix issues in your PowerPoint. To open the accessibility checker, go to the Review tab, check Accessibility. This will bring up the accessibility panel. Any errors will show here. When you click on the error, additional information is provided about what the issue is and how to make the correction. In this example, I'll click on slide 2, which is missing a slide title. Once I provide a title for the slide and the issue is fixed, the slide 2 error will disappear from the panel. For more information about creating accessible files, go to contentaccessibility.ku.edu.